morning Nuggets! This brief video is going to show you how to properly format your Word document uh, for an academic essay for high school, for my class in particular. So, uh, I've opened up this brand new document in Word. The first thing I want to do is give my document a title. So go to File, click Save As. And I always want to start with my last name. So if I'm pretending to be Super Nugget, I put Nugget, and my first initial, especially if you have a common last name, um, put your period number, and then you want to put the title of the assignment, whatever it might be. So this sample assignment is a personal narrative. Okay. And save. Now I have properly named my file. Now I need to go to Page Layout. When you click Page Layout, you want to navigate to margins. Now, most of the time, you will be set already to one inch margins. If for any reason you're not set and you don't see that as an option, you can go down here and click custom margin and type in what you want um, the exact measurements to be. So you want it to look exactly like this, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. And then, of course, we always want a portrait orientation. Click OK. So my margins are correct. Now I need to make sure that my document is double spaced. The first thing that I recommend that you do is go up to your styles. And often, Microsoft will set you up to a quote unquote normal style. This usually isn't what you want. It's going to be incorrect. Go ahead and select the one that is usually right next to it that says no spacing. Okay. If you don't see this, I'll show you how to fix it in a moment. So now I have no spacing. So I need to put my heading. So I would put my first and last name. The next item in the heading should be the teacher's name and your period. After that, you should put the title of the assignment, whatever it may be. This is not your creative title. This is what the assignment is named. And then you should write out the date. Always write out the date. Never abbreviate for a formal essay. Then I want to hit return once and hit return twice because I want to make sure that my title is properly spaced for my heading. And then after this, I will hit return twice. And this is where my first paragraph will start. All right, now, this is single spaced, and I also have an adjust in my font. So first I'm going to change my font before I adjust the line spacing. When you choose a font, it must be a professional font. For example, a Kristen ITC, that is not professional. You need to choose something that is clear and easy to read, such as Century Gothic is acceptable, Arial is acceptable, any of the normal typefaces are acceptable. Um, for most assignments, I will require you to use either a Century Gothic, Times New Roman, Arial, or Helvetica. Calibri is also acceptable. Cambria is not. So for this one, uh, Century Gothic is one of my favorites, so I'm going to go with that. And then your font needs to be size 12. Okay. Now, I still haven't double spaced yet. So to do that, there are a couple different ways to do it. The first thing that you can do right, is highlight everything on your page. And up here, you'll see the paragraph section. And one way to adjust your spacing is to click on that paragraph button. And you'll see lots of different options. But the one that you need to look at is the spacing category. There is an item called line spacing single, etc. You want to go double and now it is double spaced, okay? So that's one way to do it. Let me quickly show you another way that you can do it. You can also fix your uh, spacing by highlighting all your text, right clicking, and then you'll see one of the options that appears is paragraph, and this will pull up the same window. So that's another way um, to achieve the same result. Now I have it double spaced. My title, of course, needs to be centered. So the easiest way to do that is to highlight it. And up here, again, in the Paragraph tab, right, we want to 
these three, four items here, this is your text alignment. So I want to choose the center option for my title. Notice I'm not going to make my title a larger font. I, it's okay if you want to use a more decorative font for your title. Um, I'm fine with that. Uh, other teachers may not be, so always be sure to ask. Um, but in general, most people just leave it the same. Okay, now I have everything almost perfect, except of course my paragraphs will indent. So I do want to make sure that I hit the tab key so that I'm indenting. And then that way, when I continue to write, Okay, and let's see, this doesn't look quite right. So this way, my paragraphs will look something like this. So you can see there are clear indents, and my spacing is consistent, clear, and easy to read. I'll also show you briefly, if you want to add a page number, you can go to Insert, and your page number options are located right here. Some people like to do this. You can choose whether you want it at the top of the page, bottom of the page, um, and there are different options. But that is not a requirement for most assignments. And that's all there is to it. Uh, make sure you save your work regularly um, as you go. And remember, always save different versions of each draft. See you in class, Nuggets. Bye.